Number 28. Sound is more effectively transmitted into a stethoscope by direct contact than through the air, and it is therefore intensified by being concentrated on a smaller area of the eardrum. It is reasonable to assume that sound is transmitted into a stethoscope 100 times as effectively compared with transmission through air. What then is the gain in decibels produced by a stethoscope that has a sound gathering area of 15 centimeters squared and concentrates the sound onto two eardrums with a total area of 0.9 centimeters squared with an efficiency of 40%. All right, so this problem basically almost mimics number 27. So just check out number 27. I went through a detailed discussion about how to arrive at the formula I'm gonna use in this problem. All right, so I'm just gonna shorthand it here. Um, there's only one little thing I gotta tweak. All right, so I will discuss that though. Um, but again, check out number 27. So the formula here to find the decibel level increase, which is basically beta two minus beta one, will be 10 times the log of I2 over I1, okay? Now further, we further um, substituted now values into this formula, all right? That we can generalize what they were, all right, in number 27. So basically, actually instead of writing it to the side, I'm gonna write it underneath. So instead what we can have is we can have 10 multiplied then by the log. Now you notice there was a certain pattern there, all right? We had the efficiency multiply then by the larger area. So I'm gonna write A sub L for larger area, divided by the smaller area, okay? Now this is basically, in essence, the formula. Now there's really only, so this is great. Now there's only one little tweak I gotta make, all right? So this formula is for sound that travels through air, all right? And everything else we've been talking about has been traveling through air, basically, more or less. So now this is talking about now a stethoscope compared to air. So the only thing that I have, meaning a stethoscope that's transmitting sound through that stethoscope instead of through air. So the one thing I have to tweak here is the efficiency term, meaning there's really two values that are gonna enter into this efficiency, right? One is that the stethoscope is 100 times more effective. And then also just by whatever reason, the efficiency is also 40%, all right? That of the original. So we have to take both into account. Not only is it 100 times more effective in general, but the efficiency value of the transmission is 40%. So essentially what I have to do here in terms of the efficiency is just break that up into two parts. So it's going to be 10 multiplied by the log of then we can say effective times efficiency, um, then times the larger area over the smaller area and now we have everything we need. So now we can just plug in and you don't even need to convert the value since it's just a ratio. I did it in the last problem. Honestly, I didn't I didn't really foresee the formula ahead of time. Um, so maybe I should have solved it instead of converting, but it, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna get the same answers. Just obviously one will be a little, slightly less work. So this is 100 multiplied by 40% or 0.4 multiplied by that larger area of 15, then all divided by then 0.9 and throw that on into the calculator. So it's gonna be log of 100 times 0.4 times 15 divided by 0.9, and then take that value, multiply it by 10, and we get 28.2 or so. So 28.2 decibels will be the amount of increase. All right, and that takes care of that. Guys, thanks for tuning in, appreciate it. Please remember to help us out, subscribe, hit that like button, tell your friends. We'll see you soon, take care.